Welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Zach. I'm Andrea. And we've been getting a lot of feedback, especially from Canadian viewers. There's been an epidemic of car thefts, especially in Eastern Canada. So there's a new list that just came out. And so Andrea dug around. We found the top 10 most stolen vehicles in Canada. Yeah. And we also found the top 10 in the United States. And they are both very different. So in Canada, Akite has released this top 10 list. And in the U.S., it's the Highway Loss Data Institute. Now, the lists are slightly different. The one in the U.S. is a compiled list of 2020 to 2022 models. And in Canada, it goes back a little bit further. So we're not going to go 10 to 1 Canada, 10 to 1 United States. We're going to go 10 each country, then 9, then 8. So you don't have to sit through the other countries' list. Yes. We're starting at number 10, USA first. What's the 10th most stolen vehicle? In the U.S., it's the BMW X6. And in Canada, it's the 2021 Jeep Wrangler. So you're going to see a bit of a trend here. I think in the United States, uh, the vehicles that are stolen more are aspirational vehicles. People want them. Versus in Canada, they're stealing them because they're easy to steal. And then they're shipping them overseas. So mm -hmm. um, X6 is an aspirational vehicle. Well, in the U.S., it's high horsepower vehicles. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what people are really targeting. So I think that's quite interesting. Number nine in the U.S. is the Honda CRV, And number nine in Canada is the 2006 Chevrolet Silverado or the GMC Sierra 1500. So one thing about the CRV, you're going to see it way higher on the list in Canada. Yeah. So one other thing about the Chevrolets, 2006, you kind of why that one? There's probably a, an easy hack to get into them. Definitely. And that's probably why they're yeah. stolen. All right, on to number eight. eight. In the U.S., it's the Kia Sportage all-wheel drive model. And in Canada, the 2020 Land Rover Range Rover. Number seven in the U.S. is the Range Rover Sport. And in Canada, it's the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Number six is the Kia Sportage front-wheel drive model in the U.S. And number six in Canada is the 2019 Honda Civic. Number five in the U.S. is the Range Rover. Number five in Canada is the 2021 Toyota Highlander. Number four in the U.S. goes to the Dodge Challenger. Number four in Canada, the 2020 Lexus RX. Number three in the U.S. is the Infiniti Q50. Number three in Canada, the 2020 Ford F-150. Number two in the U.S. is the Dodge Charger Hemi. And number two in Canada is the 2022 Ram 1500. Most stolen vehicle in the U.S. is the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. And in Canada, number one goes to the 2020 Honda CRV. So the CRV is the number one most stolen vehicle, probably because it's easy to steal. And then the Dodge on the other side is high horsepower, exclusive, most stolen vehicle because if you want a Hellcat, it's Man. probably easier to steal one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that's a biggie, isn't it? Yeah. And, okay. So the Canadian list, the top 10, is fresh. It just came out. And who did it? Akite Association is the one who released the top 10 for Canada. It's a nonprofit organization that really speaks out for Canadians about auto theft and insurance fraud. So um, they're saying that in Canada, we have reached an all time high in 2022 for auto theft. Ontario is up 48% and Quebec is up 50%. The association says that the proceeds from auto theft are going to organized crime or terrorism, which can be domestic or international. So here's how it works. They steal the car, the organized crime is stealing the car, yeah. then they're sent to the port and then they're shipped overseas. And often they're going to places where there's other organized crime rings that are taking them. They're selling the vehicles and then they take the proceeds of that and use it to buy guns and um, you know they're not they're not nice people no. so this is a real problem for car manufacturers is how do you um, preempt the theft in the first place from actually getting in and taking the car yeah. but these highly desirable vehicles especially the high horsepower ones in the United States is if they they want that car they will get that car yeah I mean if they have to drag it onto a trailer in the middle of the night there's all kinds of ways they do it yeah, and um, so the Highway Loss Data Institute said that many of the vehicles included on the list are expensive or high-powered. Kia vehicles on this list are a result of a viral trend mm. that has encouraged thieves to target the brand. TikTok Can you videos. Believe it? Car theft 
suspects are surging in Tacoma, like this one where a suspect is caught on surveillance camera carving something on the hood of a stolen car, then dumped it in a random neighborhood. Police say the culprits in these cases are children, known on social media as the Kia boys. We drove through East Grand Rapids last night looking at nice houses, and another group of, they call themselves Kia boys, rode past us hanging out the window. It was kind of a nightmare. A nightmare after Lindsay Reeves 2015 Kia Soul was stolen from right outside her Valley Village apartment in LA earlier this year. Surveillance video shows a car pull up. One man then approaches, seemingly talking to someone inside that car before forcing his way into Lindsay's locked vehicle. In less than 10 seconds, both drive off. It took about two and a half weeks before Reeves' car was found, but by then, the thieves got what they wanted. Yeah. The Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, which is the large four-door car, had the worst results. They also said that electric vehicles are the least to be stolen because they are mostly in well-lit areas that are being charged, or they are in your garage. Well, the other thing is if it's plugged in and then you lock the electric car, the plug is locked in. So you can't drive away with it plugged into the wall. No. So that's that's one thing about having an electric vehicle is you can't drive down with the cable hanging out the back. And HLDI said in the past decade in the U.S., the most stolen car is the Honda Accord, mm -hmm. followed by the Honda Civic, Ford pickup, Chevrolet pickups, Toyota Camry, Dodge pickups, and then the Nissan Altima. Eight out of 15 of the most stolen cars in the U.S. of the last 10 years are made by Japanese automakers. American models are the most common target when it comes to pickup trucks. And from 2019 to 2021, Ford pickups were the most stolen vehicles. Yeah, so Honda's got a bad track record. Number one most stolen vehicle in Canada is the CRV. Yeah. The Civic was a problem for many, many years. So, so there you go. That's just some information. Depends on where you live. If yeah. you live in the middle of the countryside and it's full of very nice people, buy whatever you like. But if you live in a higher crime area yeah. and uh, there's even carjackings, people stealing Range Rover. Range Rover's high on that list as well. Yes, and for the first time in history, Canada's private auto insurers had 1.2 billion in theft claims in 2022. So Canadians are gonna pay more to cover those insurance costs. You can see why our insurance keeps going up. What's the way you get around this, Andrea? What is the vehicle theft device, uh, it's a manual transmission. Shows the victim there finishing up, pumping gas in Germantown on Saturday. Saturday, you can see the two teens forced the door open, grabbed the driver and demanded his keys. They hopped in, you're gonna see it right there. They try to take off, but wait a minute. Nope, they couldn't. It's the best anti-theft device you can have. It was a stick shift, manual transmission. Turns out those young suspects didn't know how to drive it. Actually, they said that. They said so. Uh, uh, they it was all on video actually, and they got in the car and it was a manual transmission. They're like, "What?" And they left. I guess the organized crime. They should take some driving lessons. There you go. All right. So, what do you think of that list? Is yeah. your vehicle on the list? Are you a little nervous having a vehicle like CRV so high? That's a mainline car, man. There's a sell a lot of those. And how do you feel when you see this list? You, that one of them, let's say, you say, "Yeah, I really want the Honda CRV." Does it make you nervous when buying a new? Vehicle? Vehicle. We'd yeah. love to hear from you. So if it's between the Range Rover and the CRV, mm -hmm. which one are you going to get? <laughs> Buy the nicer one. All right, Thanks that's for watching. it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.